Welcome back guys to another quick little one, two, one, two. So I know I'm a little bit late, but the VMAs was on this week. Now listen, I haven't watched a award show in a very long time because it just hasn't been giving what I wanted um, to lately. I don't, have a, I don't feel like I watched a award show, I think in years, cause it hasn't been giving. I know I'm late, but I'm going to make these two points and then I'm gonna let y'all go. Listen. Nicki Minaj, Nicki, this motherfucker, y'all, oh my God, somebody done took my stuff, what the hell, anyway, Nicki Minaj, guys, is, she gave me chills, my only takeaway from the VMAs was Nicki Minaj, she was an amazing host for the clips that I did see. But what gave me every bit of freaking life was her song that she did in like the all black. Oh my God. Let me see if I can find the name of that song. Let me see. I'm going to put a clip in the comments of her song. Oh my God, she is what we've been missing. Now listen, I'm a Cardi B fan, I'm a Meg fan, but Nicki Minaj has a little something that these other girls just don't have. I'm sorry, like just don't have. Um, She sang Last Time I Saw You, and then she sung, but I don't think that was the rap song she sung, and I should have had that prepared, but I'll put the clip in the, in the um, what is that called? Oh my God, I gotta find it now because I gotta play it. I literally have to freaking play it. Um, Nicki Minaj got up there. Now the slow song I didn't like. The slow song I didn't like, I went for it. I kind of just fast forwarded through that. But her rap, I, I feel like I sound so old. Her rap lyric, oh my God. It gave me freaking chills. Like I literally watched that clip over and over and over and over again. She gave body. She gave new Ozempic body, if you ask me, but she gave body, she gave face, she gave hair, she gave clothes, she gave lyrics, she gave energy. Like this bitch right here killed it, killed it. Now I feel like out of all the rappers, I, hmm, the female rappers, I don't know. I feel like Lotto, I've been listening to a lot of Lotto, but Nicki Minaj just has a little something that nobody can touch. Her energy, her confidence. I know that there's always like, oh, she's not being a girl's girl. She's not, she's always having an issue with other rappers and she's not, you know, welcoming new rappers in. And you know what? That is, that sucks. And I did wish that she would be more of a girl's girl, but you know, she don't have to be. She don't have to be. She's earned her spot. And, you know, she'll have to deal with those consequences if there are any or that karma from not being a girl's girl if there is. But she killed it at the fucking VMAs, y'all. I literally had chills. I literally had chills. Chills, chills, chills. I had chills listening to her do her rap. Because she, she just gave it. She just gave the energy. She gave the bars. She writes that music that makes you be like, bitch. You want, you know, you want to be me, bitch. Like you be ready to like fight. So she was given again, late to the VMAs. But the only other takeaway that I had from the VMAs that I had to talk about was Tiffany Haddish. She gives me cringe. Like when she first came out, I liked her somewhat. Tiffany Haddish gives me cringe. The same way that Nicki Minaj gave me chills of like, oh, this is so good. Tiffany Haddish. She gave me cringe. Like, I feel like Tiffany Haddish, um, she is the definition of cringe. There are clips that are coming out now where she was basically harassing Shakira. And the shit is not funny. It's not cute. Like, I could see if maybe she was even younger. But here's the thing. She's, a, she's not a young, young lady, I don't think. And it's just disgusting. Like we talk about sexy red embarrassing black women. Tiffany Haddish is embarrassing black women to me. Like why was she running behind Shakira? Watching that video of her and I'm hoping that she must have been drinking. Because watching those videos of her basically harass Shakira. 
cringe. And then today, I feel like she posted a new music video. I think that Tiffany Haddish has a very complicated and complex background. And I think that, you know, she is fighting demons. I really do. Because nobody's going to be acting like that. Like she gives me um, kind of Robin Williams vibes. I feel like, you know, people who, who clown on that kind of level and joke on that kind of annoying level nonstop like that, they are dealing with demons. And I feel actually bad for her. And I'll never understand her and Common being together. And I understand why they're not together no more. She needs friends. She needs somebody to tell her. And I feel like people probably do tell her. But if they're not, they need to tell her. Like, girl, I think if she has a publicist, she needs to really change her image. You can be a comedian, but not be cringe. And she is truly cringe. I don't know if she's even had any like blockbuster success since Girls Trip. I think she came in strong. I think she came in as, you know, a force to be reckoned with in the black female comedian space. And I really wanted and want so much more for her. Because I feel like she is talented. Um, she was in a movie with Tika Sumter and Whoopi Goldberg. I want to say it's called Fools Something. Um, and she did really good in that movie. And it wasn't 100% comedy. It was some kind of serious, it was some level of seriousness and comedy, like kind of comedy at a lower level. And she did really good in that movie. But, and I think she does good in movies, but I feel like just her in real life, it's cringe. It's totally, totally cringe. So you have two different extremes. You have Nicki Minaj at one extreme, chills, beast, giving, every single thing she did, giving. Her confidence is everything. Like her confidence, she not a girl's girl, but she don't care because she's very confident. And her lyrics even, she used her skill and her lyrics to let you bitches know. You say you look up to her, Bitch, you look up to me. Like that line itself on repeat. But then on the other side of the spectrum, you have Tiffany Haddish. And it's just like, girl, why are you doing music? Like, I feel like she's become a joke and not in a good way. I think that she is a comedian who is like, we're not laughing with you. We're laughing at you. And I hate that. And I really want better for her. But listen, VMAs, Nicki Minaj, Tiffany Haddish were my two takeaways, y'all. Make sure you are following me on YouTube, Instagram, and I'll see you next time. That's scary.